As racing returns around the United States, one author is taking a moment to look back. John Andretti lost his battle with cancer last January, but his legacy is on display in a brand new way. How you can read all about it. Sports director Dave First with the Sports Extra Spotlight. Been a great to us. It night. was a life and career made for TV. John Andretti was on it a lot, and now his story comes in a whole new way. I was talking with a friend and, and we got to talking about John and, and the idea just kind of popped up. Wow, it would be great to, to do a book with John. Absolutely. And writer Jade Gers uh, doing sure. just yeah. that, entitled yeah. Racer, yeah. capturing the many aspects to John's career. I don't know that the current generation really understands uh, the diversity that John had when it came to racing a car. The book is great about um, showing that diversity and, and him actually detailing kind of some of the differences between all of those. Including his most successful time in NASCAR and a win for Richard Petty in 1999. He talks about that with great reverence. Like I think at, at that moment he appreciated and under, understood what it meant for Richard and his team who hadn't seen Victory Lane in a lot of years. Ultimately, the book touches on his 2017 colon cancer diagnosis and the still ongoing Check It for Andretti campaign. His goal coming out of the initial diagnosis was, I want to help other people to make sure they uh, are not in my shoes. The single thread through the book is family, friends, and helping others. That, that's always a thread underneath even the, the funniest racing stories. And that includes the 23 years of his race for Riley, the annual karting event which raised nearly $5 million. John opening up in a series of interviews about the good times and the bad. There were days when I got there that he clearly did not feel good, did not have much energy. Mm -hmm. But after a question or two, or I would, if I would hit on something, you, you could see his face light up. Personally, selfishly for me, that was a, a great feeling, knowing that he, he so enjoyed sharing a lot of the stories. Pre-orders are available at OctanePress.com with 10% of the proceeds going back to Riley Children's Hospital. He's still giving back the way John would want it. Day first, RTV6 Sports.